Hi, my name is Carly, and today I'm going to talk about obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, and how it is different than autism. OCD is an anxiety disorder that is characterized by unwanted and intrusive thoughts, as well as ritualized and repetitive behaviors that one feels compelled to perform. OCD can be divided into two categories, and people can experience symptoms in one or both of them. Obsessions are defined as repeated, persistent, and unwanted thoughts, urges, or images that cause a person distress or anxiety. Compulsions are often a result of the obsession and can be defined as a restricted or repetitive behaviors that one feels compelled to perform. Within the obsessive subtype, there are a few common themes that occur. The first is a fear of contamination or dirt, with a common symptom of this being an irrational fear that touching something others have touched is contaminated. The second common theme is difficulty tolerating uncertainty, with a common symptom of a frequent doubt that something has been done, like turning off the stove. Another common theme is the need for things to be done in an orderly or symmetrical way, with a common symptom involving distress when something isn't in a specific position. In the compulsive subtype, there are also a few common themes, the first being washing and cleaning, with a common symptom being excessive hand washing. Another common theme is counting or checking. A common symptom to this is repeatedly checking to see if something is done, like turning off the stove or checking to see if the door is locked. Another common theme is the adherence to a strict routine, meaning that they require things done to be done in a certain way or need a specific routine to be followed every day. In order to receive a diagnosis, someone must first undergo an assessment from a professional. The professional will observe the patient's behavior as well as discuss some of their symptoms. They will also obtain third-party reports about their symptoms. Diagnosis follows the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Health Disorders, or the DSM-5, and says that obsessions and compulsions must cause significant distress that interfere with the person's life, as well as having symptoms of obsessions and or compulsions. There are a variety of intervention options available. These can include behavioral therapy, most commonly cognitive behavioral therapy, medications, most commonly SSRIs, and support groups to discuss individual experiences with OCD and learn more about the disorder as well as how to manage it. Autism spectrum disorders are a group of neurodevelopmental disorders that are characterized by social communication difficulties as well as restricted and repetitive behaviors. Some of the common symptoms include difficulties with sensory processing, which can lead to sensitivity environments and situations with a lot of sensory stimuli. Similarly to OCD, people with autism display restricted and repetitive behaviors. However, these behaviors are slightly different. People with autism may also have difficulties in responding to social cues, such as making eye contact and reading body language or tone of voice. Assessment and diagnosis of autism is very similar to OCD. However, the diagnostic criteria is specific to autism. In order to be diagnosed with autism, the person's symptoms must persist for more than six months. As well, they must display difficulties in three of the four areas defined in the DSM-5 and two of the four types of restrictive and repetitive behaviors. Intervention options for autism are similar to OCD. They can include medications like SSRIs, behavioral therapies like applied behavior analysis, occupational therapies to help develop functional skills, and education for family members, caregivers, and the person with autism. OCD and autism are separate disorders that share some characteristics. However, they do have some important differences. There are some researchers that believe there are fundamental differences between the repetitive and restricted behaviors in both disorders. However, there is some debate about this. When compared to OCD, people with autism tend to show a decreased overall frequency of OCD symptoms and symptom severity. They also found that people with autism are less likely to have some of the more typical OCD symptoms, including things like washing, checking, and counting. Researchers attribute these differences to a decreased number of obsessions in people with autism than in OCD. 
People with OCD have a much higher tendency than those with autism to have contextually associated obsessions and compulsions. For that reason, many researchers believe that the main difference between the two disorders is the interactions between their symptoms. On the other hand, some researchers believe that restricted and repetitive symptoms are the same in both disorders because they have found differences in the same brain region in people with both the disorders. Thank you for watching. For more information about OCD and autism, please visit yourlearner.com.